Meanwhile, the federal government has again hailed the pivotal role of youths in creatively shaping Nigeria's future, declaring that innovation is the driving force behind the nation's manufacturing sector. Here is what is new. There is a deliberate move to prepare youths and identify those ready for future leadership through a national design and innovation competition in the presidential villa. Vice President Kashim Shatima, who was at the official launch of the competition, emphasized again that the future belongs to the youth and the creative. State House correspondent Abdurrahman Jabrila again feeds us. I wish to officially launch the national design and innovation competition. Thank you so much. It is a new dawn for digital and creative economy as the National Design and Innovation Competition comes on board as it aims to spur entrepreneurship and creative ventures among Nigerians. The federal government supported program is organized by the Interior Designers Association of Nigeria. And the average age of the Nigerian nation is 19. So this is an age group that are pregnant with ideas for innovation and for the social and economic transformation of the Nigerian nation. I see no reason why we shouldn't support them. These are people not begging us to give them contracts or anything. They want us to create the enabling environment for them to explore their full potentials. And this is an ecosystem that they are very much familiar with. And Nigerians are excellent innovators. I want to align I celebrate your aspirations. And I want to commend you when Made by Design, your Netflix series that brought positive light to the Nigerian nation. And of course, it's not the size of a bank that matters. It's the drive. It's the commitment of the leadership. Vice President Kashmir Shatima said innovation drives manufacturing and Nigeria is brimming with possibilities and opportunities. The federal government support for youth aspirations and entrepreneurship. The vice president at the meeting commended financial institutions backing the creative sector. He announced plans to include young innovators in the government $617.7 million investment in digital and creative enterprises. Addressing economic concerns, the vice president declared that the worst is over, noting that the Naira will continue to stabilize in the coming weeks and months as President Bola Tinubu administration tackles issues like food security, nutrition and insecurity. Um, we understand the unemployment challenges in Nigeria and we have a whole creative community that have um, creativity but no formal education. We're pleased to launch this competition which starts with a training program to train a million um, designers and creatives in product, furniture and industrial design. As we all know, in line with Mr. President's eight-point agenda, job creation is a vital and a key component of that. So that's why we're excited to partner with her because this project that, that we, the Vice President just launched has the potential of generating a million jobs. The initiative, which aims to equip aspiring creatives with necessary skills and access to training, will feature design competitions and workshops where participants can showcase their prototypes and work with top Nigerian manufacturers. From the State House, Abraham Jubrila, NTA News.